Hi, Miss Darcy here with Flannel Board Fun. April is poetry month. So I thought for the last story time of April, we would have a little poetry. Starting with, there was an old man with a beard. It's one of my favorite new flannels. We've seen it before. Here we go. There was an old man with a beard who said, it's just as I feared. Two owls, one, two, a hen, Four larks, one, two, three, four larks, and a wren have all made a nest in my beard. There was an old man with a beard who said, it's just as I feared. Two owls, a hen, four larks, and a wren have all made a nest in my beard. This is one of my favorite new flannels. In the Sea, a book by David Elliott with pictures by Holly Mead. This is a book from our E poetry section. Poetry is 811 in the Dewey system. And this book is from the 811 section in the ED. It's called In the Sea. The Seahorse. See the seahorse in the sea, where else would the seahorse be? For though it's dainty as a wish, the seahorse is, you see, a fish. The shark, the fin, the skin, the brutal grin, the terror of the dark within. The octopus, you appear out of the blue, an eight-armed apparition, then vanish in a cloud of ink, no ghost but a magician. The starfish, five fingers like a hand, the starfish shines in a sky of sand. How many legs does the sea star have? I call them sea stars. One, two, three, four, five. The urchin spiny, the sardine tiny, the mackerel shiny, the shrimp briny. The herring, nobody's fool. How could she be? She lives in a school. The dolphin. He jumps, he leaps, he twirls, he spins. He's the gesture of the briny deep, an acrobat with fins. The orca. You breach the water's surface in your black and white tuxedo, then disappear into the blue, an elegant torpedo. The sea turtle swims the seven seas for 30 years, then finds the beach where she was born by magic it appears. How can she know to come upon that far and sandy place? Rare instrument of nature, fair compass in a carapace. So beautiful. Coral, as solid as a rock, as colorful as heather, Coral's living proof, it pays to stick together. Anemones, got a lot of zing, by which I mean watch out they sting. The clownfish, we know the clownfish. It's not an enemy of an enemy. In fact, it is an enemy's maid, for which an enemy stings its enemies. <laughs> and that's how friends are made. That was a tongue twister. Moyo, ferocious, cunning, belligerent, brave, a sword without its sheath, a dragon in its cave. The chamber nautilus, her shell spins round atop a dancer, a staircase with no end, a question with no answer. The giant squid, 
few have seen him, few wish to. Hide from this one, that's what fish do. The puffer fish, a trickster, a clown, a magic magician, a buffoon. One minute she's a fish, the next she's a balloon. Can you puff up like a puffer fish? <gasps> <laughs> the blue whale rises to the surface, an island, a mountain, all fluke and fin and fountain, the largest animal alive, sings a chanty deep and slow of winds that rage and storms that blow, of shipwrecked sailors down below, oh, where they are, we cannot go. And then... She dives. She dives deep, deep, deep down into the sea. It's a beautiful picture on the front of In the Sea. What a fun book to read. If you listen to the story time today, you guys can count it on your thousand books before kindergarten. Have a fantastic day. Bye. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha!